This is the kind of view that Jeff Bezos has while he underpays his employees. And this is where the lunch breaks really don't happen. Oh god, am I gonna hit my head? Oh, just barely! Around this central chain of pipelines. Extending all the way. Alright, it's the first shipment of plastic coming in. Well, hello, satisfied gamers. Welcome again to Satisfactory. The game where the factories are satisfying and the satisfying is factory. Here I am exploring the new frontier. Never been here before, but I'm establishing some train tracks. You can see my uh, fuel generators way over there from the last episode. The plan for today, gamers, is I'm going to show off some new factories I built. One of them is a crystal oscillator factory. I'm also going to show you guys how I turned 80 rubber into 640 plastic using a recipe that I thought was totally useless. So if you want to see that, I got chapters set up for this video as usual. You can skip to that part. That'll be the second factory I show. With the plastic and the crystal oscillators, I should be able to make a computer factory using one of my alternates. Here you can see I've set up some train stations here for the frontier. There's a lot of new resources around here untapped lots of potential lots of money in the bags that would be uh, if fix it was paying me which they aren't and check this out guys I also built this in the past couple days I got supports going to this uh, station with a view is what I call it and got a little roundabout here so that I can go around and check it out and here we have a nice view of all the waterfalls I can even get down here and you can see that I have a, a frame thing underneath and I really like walking on these frames they help me construct things and that's what helped me make these supports here not that I'm uh, above floating platforms I'll probably do it but the factory must be satisfying so as you can see the billboard says sport construction this way you get a nice view of uh, done quite a lot of work on the rail infrastructure I also just really enjoy how the general factory over there looks at a distance now that I've got several tall buildings. So this is the journey over to the crystal oscillator factory and we're actually going to go by the plastic refinery. That's what's over there on the right. But check out this new rail that I made. So if you go past the station here and here you can see this is where I get plastic now. We'll come back to that later and take a right here. You can actually get on some rails that take you on a bit of a shortcut. and of course much higher up the only other way to get up here would be to take that train spiral that I showed you guys last episode oh yeah so I did make the primary refinery as I call it this new building here that replaces the old refinery uh, and it's a fine refinery but now I've got plastic going over there and it's quite significantly better so yeah, as you can see, this station here was receiving plastic, but it's only something like, I don't know, 100, 200 per minute. With these recipes that I totally slept on in my last playthroughs, I didn't know these recipes were good at all. Uh, it turns out you can actually quadruple your plastic. Uh, yeah, this probably actually wasn't the fastest way, but you know what? We're taking the scenic route. As you can see, I've got a new building going on over there. And uh, there's actually nothing in it yet, but I've got large train stations in there, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use it for computers, uh, potentially more advanced radio control units, stuff like that. All right, and now, gamers, we are finally approaching the Crystal Oscillator factory. I've also got a train line going to the east over here. Um, that one's not fully set up yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and start applying the brakes, and here we are coming into the train station okay so I just went ahead and parked my train there I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the front entrance yeah this is the gate where we oscillate if you know what I mean wow I just realized that you could emo oh there was so much potential for this I could have been doing this the whole time hey guys you see that I built that but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the oscillation factory. Okay, let's go. So here, here is the central chamber where the CEO can watch 
watch the progress being made because I did a very similar thing I did in the steel factory from many episodes ago where you can see all the inputs for the factory the raw quartz the raw copper the raw iron and then just the final output which is 20 crystal oscillators per minute and it is a beautiful thing this is the kind of view that Jeff Bezos has while he underpays his employees works them to the death like mules you know and I just love that for me Rest assured that here at the Oscillator Factory, we do not pay above minimum wage, but we do consume 600 iron per minute, 280 copper per minute, 600 quartz per minute. Uh, it uses about 2 gigawatts, but produces our 20 per minute. And here you can see I've got a little service room. There's nothing too important here, just some cables. And a lot of the production, guys, is hidden behind walls. The first floor does a little bit of it, and I can show you what that looks like. Uh, this set of constructors here is actually for quartz and that set of smelteries I believe is for iron. Of course this is also the area where I deal with the final product the oscillators and they get shipped over to the train yard but just go ahead and go up this set of stairs that I got here and you can see the first set of big machines and this is where the lunch breaks really don't happen yeah, you can see, let me actually zoom in a little bit. That's uh, cables, that's uh, iron ingots. We got screws going. Over there, it looks like uh, iron rods or plates. Yeah, here's where the copper is shipped up to be smelted. There's quite a lot of copper smelteries. And then right over here, I have the iron manufacturers. Yep, iron plates, iron rods. These iron rods are at least partially sent over here to make screws. Copper ingots are turned into wire and then into cables. Simple, easy, but then products are shipped up to the next floor. And here's where the final business happens. The real jazzy jizz, the real jazzy j <coughs> Here, uh, reinforced iron plates. You can see that I've got more than enough of them. Uh, Looks like actually right now, they should all be running at 100% because this factory has been going for a long time. But yeah, you can see just how many manufacturers you need for crystal oscillators. Each one only makes one per minute, so... Oh god, why is it so loud? Yeah, each one only makes one per minute and that's why I need so many of them. And you can see all the oscillators going. They're all going to go sh be shipped down to the train yard. Alright, I'm all lubed up and ready to dock, so let's go ahead and grab some of these crystal oscillators. I think it's about 5,000 per train load and we can take that home. And of course trains in this game are amazing, and I can just tell it exactly where I want it to go. Oh, why did it honk? You guys shouldn't disparage me for destroying the natural environment and hiring people at lower than fair wages and at what pe some people may consider to be slave wages. I'm not doing anything that Nestle wouldn't do, okay? So, arriving finally at Sport Construction here, as you know from the last couple episodes, is my auto sorter. And just like that, mission success. We got crystal oscillators. Yeah, baby! Let's actually go back because I think there's gonna be, uh... I think there's starting to pile up, so I think I may need to grab them. Alright, departing from sport construction, going back to the quartz refinery to grab another load of quartz, and then I'll show you my plastic place right after that. It's just simple capitalist economics. I don't know what these workers don't understand. I get rich, you get tuberculosis. That's how it goes. And yeah, that will automatically just fill up on its own. Uh, the beauties of automation. Yeah, this I love this like central chamber that's just so wide open. And I, previously, I would have felt like this would be a waste of space, but no, it's it's grand, it's dramatic. It's like the Sistine Chapel. But what happened to the first fifteen chapels is what I want to know. You guys think I can just ride the train on top? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, am I gonna hit my head? Oh, just barely. Woo! Giving myself a haircut. 
Oh uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong with riding on top of a train, actually. How many crystal oscillators do I have anyway? Oh, okay, it's almost a full load. Okay, now that that's all done, I've got something great to show you guys. The thing I've been hyping up this whole episode. You know what it is. It's my infinite plastic hack. The time that I played this game before, I thought the recycled rubber and recycled plastic recipes were just garbage. It's like, why would you do that? If you want plastic, just make plastic. Why would you make rubber and then use fuel? I didn't realize you were actually doubling it each time you do that. So essentially, what I've got going here is a quadrupling of my plastic production because I just do that like four times. Just past the turbo plant, you will see the new plastic refinery. And it is quite a large complex in itself. I'm still keeping with the open air theme of these refineries. Got the industrial feel to them. But yeah, let's go ahead and work through how this all works, huh? But before I get too deep in the weeds, let me show you guys what this factory actually looks like. Starting here with the water extraction chamber. Here is where water is pumped up. There's the grate. And this may be the thing I am most proud of. As you can see, this entire factory is built around this central chain of pipelines extending all the way down there. It really gives a nice consistent symmetrical look. Also, of course, all of these machines run at 100% efficiency. Uh, it took quite a while to start up and to start being that way. And if you're curious, I get 640 plastic from only 240 oil. So here's what a walk along this pipeline would look like. Starting in the blender area. Going past the refineries. And keep, oh, there's a lot of refineries. Yeah, just keep going past the refineries. Here we got more conveyors, of course. And finally, it terminates at some fuel generators. There's also the plastic final destination area where uh, all the plastic is collected. As you can see, now it is starting to flow into the excess sink because, wow, this just these all these storage containers just filled up so fast. It is also sent up here to the train station. I got a little walkway here for you. If you want to enter this way, you can also enter from the way that we passed by earlier. So yeah, guys, it is kind of a confusing process. I had to actually get out a pen and paper and draw out a diagram to figure this out. But uh, once I realized that, oh, it's just, it's just doubling each time, which, you know, might be obvious, but I'm a smooth brain. So then once I realized that, it was, it was relatively simple. So uh, this is the simplified process. So from 240 crude oil, I use the heavy oil residue recipe to make 320 residue. It also makes some polymer resin, which I turned into the 80 rubber. The residue is all turned into fuel using a ton of water in the diluted fuel recipe. Uh, and all that fuel is used in the recycled rubber and plastic recipe to double it into plastic, double it into rubber, and then finally double it into plastic one more time, producing the final product of plastic. It's a beautiful thing. Here's all the machines that it uses. Uh, the reason I have fuel generators, of course, is because I actually produce a little bit of excess fuel from this process, and you can't waste any excess fuel. You gotta use it. So you know what I'm using it for, power. But yeah, as you can see by this sign here, my net power is still negative at this facility, even with uh, six fuel generators. One of them is slightly underclocked. And of course you have your little hyper tube station here. That'll help you get around and get a nice aerial view of the whole facility. But yeah, these are the crude oil refineries, the blenders mixed with the water. And then uh, these are the first refineries. This makes this makes rubber. You can see the rubber is being sent here to these to make plastic. Plastic gets all the way back here to more rubber. Oh, I'm gonna run out. Oh. 
anyway, th this set of refineries is colored black because it's more rubber. And then again, back to the blue refineries for more plastic. And then finally, that plastic is gonna go on this lower belt here where I have so much of it, all the plastic I could need. Yes, I'll drown in it, I'll lick it. That's what I made. I made plastic. Hey, you guys see it? That's what I made. I made plastic. So yeah, no abused workers here, just a very efficient uh, process. All automated, all 100% efficient. As you can see, yeah, this one is slightly underclocked. Oh, not this one. Which one is? These generators are loud! My ears! Okay, yeah, this one is slightly underclocked. It's at two-thirds capacity. Wait, why is my energy fluctuating so much? That must be from the turbo plant. Oh, bitch-ass fruit fly just fucking tried to fly into my face. Get out of here. You're not welcome. So this is what my whole map looks like right now. Let me go ahead and throw up a picture for that for you. This is from the Satisfactory Planner website. And you can see that I've got large coverage on the <laughs> west side of the map where my factory is. And now I've also made a, a northern frontier up there in the northeast corner and a southern frontier in the south area. Haven't gone so, haven't really gone into the east area with our train tracks yet. But guys, I know that 1.0 is coming soon and it's supposed to come out this year and they seem very serious about that, so. I'm not sure entirely, so I'm not settled what- Oh no, that looks so ugly. I hate it when that happens. And I have to manually go get in these crates. I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be creating a new one or not. I think that I probably will create a new file because uh, it should break your old production lines. So I'm going to try to speed run doing some nuclear fuel, completing phase four before 1.0 comes out. And I don't know if I'll be successful, but we'll see. Gosh darn it. We got to be like the Bruce Lee of factory games. Be like water. I don't know what that means. I just heard it one time. I probably mentioned this already, but yeah, I'm gonna make circuit boards with all this plastic. That was really the, the goal for all that plastic. And I'm considering which recipe I should use. And I might actually end up doing uh, <laughs> this one because why not? Fuck it. I don't like copper sheets. Let's be real. Although I do have a copper sheet factory already. I don't think it's enough. Silica, that's too rare. Uh, Caterium is kind of rare too, but I think because I've just unlocked this area down here, you can see there's Caterium here, there's Caterium here, there's Caterium here. All those are untapped, so I could honestly use them for uh, my computer and circuit board production. But that's enough yapping. I will be right back when I have a solid plan to show you or... I'll be right back when I have something to show you, at least. Hello, gamers and gamettes. We don't have much time here. I gotta go to sleep and uh, get back to work. You know, I gotta work those long hours to support my crippling coke addiction. You know how it is, but anyway, I got my circuit board factory going. Um, it's not fully set up now. Let me just flip the switch on. This is the grand opening, you see. I just wanted to make sure that I filmed it for you. Um, I got the train station up top. Uh, obviously, this place isn't fully decorated yet either. Uh, let me just give this little bad boy a name. This is going to be the circuit station. I'm very creative today. So all I need is to get a train. And now I just tell it. Do 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 do. Um, do to do, do signals are making it unreachable. Interesting, interesting. Okay, now I fixed my signaling. So, oh, there's a cat. Oh, he's 
She's trying to eat my nuts. What the fuck? Cats can't have nuts. Okay, so I think it's Southern Beach Station and Circuit Station. So yeah, the factory is online. The only thing that's preventing it from producing circuit boards right now is that it needs some plastic. So that's what this train's for. So this is going to go to that plastic refinery that I showed you earlier. Pick up some plastic and bring it here through that little entryway in the side of the building. This is my first time testing this factory. I just got done setting it up. So let's see how it works and then we'll wrap this thing up. Okay, I made it to the plastic place. Give me that plastic, please. All right, it's the first shipment of plastic coming in. And this will kick off production. What the hell is that foundation doing there? And there it goes. First bits of plastic. Let's go check on the machines upstairs. Oh, and there goes the train off for another load. All right. Looks like some of them are running. These ones... Did I forget to... Yeah, I forgot to hook those ones up to power, but okay, I think it's... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it seems to be working great. Oh, there go the circuit boards already. Okay. And here at my output area, you can see I've got circuit boards coming now. Oh, finally. Actually, let me slow this down a little bit and see them better. How lovely is that? And uh, I think we're making probably, let's see, what? I think it's about 160 circuit boards per minute at max capacity. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm going to keep working on uh, decorating this place, but I will see you gamers on the next update. Please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate your support. And uh, hope you have a great afternoon, morning, evening. Peace out, boys and girls.